one of my moderators is not having a great day. And, what's going uh, on, Biscuit? Why was happening? Up me any day. And so I tried to send her a voice note of me burping, but I sent it to my fiance instead. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Is it still lagging? Is it still behind? Lonnie Lane, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. What's um, up, Lonnie? What's up, Biscuit? Aviar? Aviar is back. Sweet, sweet. We what got up, everyone. What up, what up, what uh, up? So, yeah. So, that's how we all burp monster. <laughs> but uh, my no, wife and I were, rem were reminiscing about, like, when we were dating. And she reminded me that <laughs> we were at a store one time. And I, like, let one rip. So, I was trying to do a silent one, right? Just, like... Just a silent fart and walk away, but it came out and loud, loud enough for like the whole store to hear. She goes, "Did you just fart?" Oh, shit. So, and she outed you on it. Yeah, not good. It's not okay good. though. My daughter got her back. Somebody else farted, and she blamed it on on my wife. Mom, did That's you funny. fart really loud? That's funny. <laughs> I like that a lot. But yeah, D Disco Doc was great. Um, our, my friend Elizabeth, who is in the chat here. Um, got me going on the disco doc stuff and uh she was like there's a rumor that it's ren there's a rumor that it's like someone close to ren there's a rumor that it's not anyone at all like it's all over the place and i had no idea what to do and i was watching a couple of the videos and i was like what is this like what is happening and i was like they're so like articulate and detailed and i was freaking right. right out and i accidentally flooded my front yard while, while i was trying to figure it out so i came inside and filmed a reaction video <laughs> <laughs> But no, that's funny, man. I, I didn't know about it until the Wolf Johnson basically reached out and was like, hey, you should do this. Um, or he, he nominated me, basically. So that's mm. like, I don't know who this Disco Doc person is. Um, mm. And then I went and looked and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Didn't know that farming equals farting equals I love you. Exactly. TCF. Exactly. See. <sighs> um, so that's how I heard of Disco Doc. Um, I, I think the rumors about it being Ren is funny, <laughs> um, but I go along with it. I I just treat him I like Disco Doc. I don't care who it is. Yeah, I mean that's how I am. Like whoever it is, they're cool. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna go back and do redo the drums on my song just because I don't like the drums on it. Oh yeah. yeah. Why don't you like them? Like what don't you like about them? Not what I wanted. I think I was, instead of doing the, what did you call it? The thick hits, I did snare and that was a problem. Mm. I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, finding like a, like a pre-programmed drum kit or even like building a drum kit, man, it's like, it's like, imagine trying to like build a website for the first time. Like it's probably <laughs> not gonna be as good as like your hundredth website. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like, I don't know, whatever whatever a guy could it's basically like you're coding essentially to an extent right. not not as intricately but like there's a lot of things that have to go into it and once you kind of get the language down then it goes a little quicker but it's a pain man yeah uh map drop yeah i, I just think that's because they're british you know what i'm saying i, I don't know if it's a stream doing we good? it could be yeah i pushed the wrong button um Mavdrop said there's a lot of Ren like word phrasing choices in Disco Stop Disco Doc stuff. It's just because they're 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 British. They have the same kind of uh word phrases, you know? Yeah. Um they're obviously like very in tune with like the project at least, right? One hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> um I can't I couldn't keep up with it. I don't even catch half the Ren stuff. Like <laughs> he's so well read. <laughs> We were, yeah, we were talking about that. It's hard for me too, man. Like, I did not catch the animal flow stuff. A lot yeah. of people get on me about that because, like, I, I just the, the animal farm. I read it like elementary school, like 20, 25 years ago. I'm not gonna remember that. My camera froze now. Certainly, someone that knows Ren well. If it's not Ren, you really think so? As a person from the other side of the pond, I think it's more than just Britishness. Mm -hmm. yeah i think i think it's got to be someone that's like either like been a fan for like longer than like like because i just found out about ren not that long ago man like someone told me hey you should get into this it's like very similar to this group that you already react to and are into etc cetera, etc cetera. and like you know obviously i did like it's great 
Um, but it, it's got to be someone that's either been like around the project or known about the project for long enough to like be in with everything because like they're so quick, you know, or they got to have an inside scoop. That's what I think. I mean, I didn't get into rental until March, so like, yeah, I'm with you on that. I, there's there's a whole thing going on. I say it's Victus. I that's what somebody in the chat's saying, but um. It could be someone of a similar kind of educational level and eloquence. I think that is probably the best take. Yeah. Be tough. I, I just, the it the things that don't match up is when Ren is busy, Disco Doc has been reactive to like in the, in our discord. Right. So that's where I'm kind of like, it doesn't add up. But yeah. Like, but I could give my fiance my phone and say, Hey, be me for half an hour. I got to go do something. She knows how to talk like me. My wife doesn't know how to talk like me. Oh, y'all would actually probably know if it was my fiance because she's pretty funny. She's much funnier than I am. <laughs> Very in the know. I, I think I think Jesse's take on it is that it's somebody who's been around Ren for a while. You know? Yeah, either um, like been into the artist Ren like for a long, long time, like since the come up. Or has been like a part of the project and been like gets like a little bit of an inside scoop. That's what I think. So <clears throat> is that video that you did for Cliff still up? Yeah, why? Should be. I didn't take it down unless YouTube took oh, it I down. I just wasn't sure like if it got any like any warnings or any like did you get any flack from that video? I got nothing. It's people who were commenting on it were getting like notifications. I showed you that, right? With that what that yeah. was. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking right now. Uh, it's monetized. I have just, no notification in email or anything from it. Like, I wonder, like, what it is specifically that got that are giving them those warnings. Like, are you not allowed to say bad things about a company anymore? I don't know. I. I my my personal take on this right is and i think they've kind of touched on it so a lot of you this is part of it a lot of youtube's ad space and especially like the money they get from youtube music is coming from mainstream the mainstream music industry Cliff has always been about one he's not really there to make any money so therefore youtube doesn't make any money two he's promoting independent artists uh, which undermines their bottom line because of it undermines the mainstream music, right? Um, I think there's a little bit of that. I think he's also been very outspoken uh, against YouTube when they do random stuff. But he also, I think he was saying there was like a two or three week span where he gained like almost 40,000 followers or, or subscribers, which is a flag for YouTube, right? So that put him on the radar and then from there they were like analyzing everything but i don't mm -hmm. know like the whole entire like entirety of it of what what may have caused it but i think all of that has kind of something to do with it and then once he started calling them out that was it and then the last thing is uh we were talking about this before but i, I think he more so is supportive of all indie independent artists including the likes of like tom mcdonald and all that stuff and a lot of the politics that go behind that don't match the morals of youtube and i mm. think that's playing a part too uh, mm. youtube has been notorious in the past for blocking or demonetizing channels that don't follow the moral compass of youtube um basically just you know people voicing their opinions but somebody else who's voicing their opinions on the other side sometimes almost um uh, harmfully so and they're still allowed to be there yeah uh, look they're attacking cliff and i don't know if you know who sniper wolf is but she's still around and what she did was literally like a felony so mm. i think the inconsistency bothers me the most like if they were just shit all around i wouldn't have an issue with it but yeah, like it's, it's happening they're picking to picking and choosing. Yeah, they're picking and choosing. And they yeah. they're picking and choosing to whom gets moved to the front. Which was yeah. the other thing that it's like I, I I'm not I'm I don't I'm not cool with that. So 
Yeah. So I, well, like, I, go ahead. I I don't have this channel for me is not to make money. Um, it's for, it's a hobby for me. It's fun to do. So I felt, fuck it. If my channel goes away, then it goes away. Um, but I want to at least speak up and kind of put into the atmosphere that it's not just Cliff that feels this way. It's all of us that feel this way. Um, and I want to support him if I can. So any way that I can, right? Yeah. So that was kind of the, the whole thing with, with my video was like, look, I know <laughs> people have seen Cliff's video, so they know what's going on, but it's not just him that this is happening to. And then as soon as I post that video, people commenting on it started getting flagged. Yeah. So that's the part that I really don't understand. Like, I didn't think that anyone said anything like foul or like out of pocket enough to warrant, you know, getting a, a, a warning, right? Yeah, it, it, it's, it, they didn't even say anything either. Either All they said was like, oh yeah, I feel for him and I hope, I wish we could do something. Yeah. And that's, so they got, they got flagged for that. Um, so, Aviar, so, so I, go oh, for sorry, it. Okay. I'm, I'm just um, reading, go for it. I, uh, I heard something that kind of like, I don't want to say it opened my mind to, but it gave me another perspective on, um, and it was talking about, uh, like when we do a reaction and if uh the copyright owner doesn't want to share the ad revenue then the advertiser won't put the money on the song because they've already paid the money to the original artist like they've already advertised on that and i was mm -hmm. like okay i was like so like if that's a little bit true then you hear like uh mr i, I don't know how to say his account name l boyd l boyd reacts yep l boyd reacts yeah so he was talking about how he had a uh one of his shorts like pop off like it did like a couple dozen million i think and he gained the same thing, like a ton of followers from that one video, but it was reused from because it was a clip from one of his reactions, right? Yeah. So they they flagged him as uh, doing reused content, and they demonetized him for it. Which is, but it's like it, the thing that's stupid is they for the longest time they've been pushing shorts, because short form yeah. content now is is the wave, right? With 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 TikTok and all that shit. So I, I don't know. Uh, again, uh, I'm assuming it's because he popped off on one and they just don't like that. And I, th I honestly think the general thing of this, there's a whole bunch of aspects. There's a whole bunch of things that are causing this, but I really do think reaction content in general is just something they don't want on YouTube anymore. Um, mm. Especially with the heat that streamers like XQC are getting, who's a, multi-millionaire and all he does now is he's literally phoning it in is he reacts to like other people's stuff he'll watch shows and sit there and eat food and watch it and be like oh wow oh cool like literally the brain dead reaction stuff that i despise as well he's making millions off of it so like reaction channels right now and i when i posted that video about cliff i got a bunch of people in my comment section like well reaction content is just stealing from hardworking people like well have you actually watched my reactions like yeah same like i'm pretty like aware i get enough people tell me that i talk too much to know that i'm kind of niche down in my reaction space you know what i mean right like i'm not just just i'm not just sitting there talking about how giddy something makes me feel like i'm, I'm trying to provide value to hopefully another performer or someone who wants is looking for more joy out of their favorite performance or whatever right my camera froze again what a treatful day we're having today. Technical difficulties are part of the game. Um, what a camera are you using, by the way? Is it like a DSLR? Uh, it's like a like a pretend DSLR. It's a Sony ZV-1F. I was looking at that one. Yeah, it's nice. Um, our guest actually bought it for me as a gift. Nice. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he uh, reactions as the new grassroots marketing for artists, much like the old school street teams. Yeah, did, that's what I'm talking about. It's street teams, bro. It's I'm at the cost or I'm at the I'm at the concert. I'm at the whatever concert handing out EPKs from my favorite indie artists, and I'm telling you all to check this band out on your way through. Artists like Ren falling in reverse, like they've done the reaction things. I don't know if if you've paid attention to um. Ronnie Radke and stuff, but 
he'll, they'll release the song and he'll go on Twitch and kind of do the same thing that um, watch people react. That Ren did, yeah. And he'll go and watch people react and, and talk about that and stuff. And he also makes sure that reactors don't get demonetized. Yeah. Um, I know Ren went to YouTube headquarters, I think in LA. I don't remember where it was and like pushed to kind of bring independent artists to the forefront. So I don't know if that was a thing that maybe caused this to start. I don't want to blame him for it, but I know that this has been going on for years. It's been going on YouTube's, forever. Yeah. So I, I don't know, but, um, cause I was going to say before it would be cool if somebody like Ren kind of was like backing cliff, but he kind of already went to YouTube headquarters and pushed some, um, yeah, and plus, like, he can't afford to put a target on his back either, right? Yeah. Garnet, I agree. Um, by the way, that's the same person. Sorry, I'm stupid with names. That was You're reaching stupid, out about, but yeah, that about is, uh, the... the uh... Man, I, I have I cannot do words. That's, uh, yeah, she, uh, Elizabeth, one of my friends. She's one of our moderators. Yeah. Um, if you want to take control or, like be the lead on that um why why can i think of the word okay i'm gonna look at it because i'm about to thank you for that petition and work with me on that that'd be great i'm very good like i said of at like marketing or networking with people and like getting them together or i think i'm pretty good at that but i'm not good at legal jargon or creating something and writing it and putting in great writing so I'm not gonna make it things like to the point. Yeah. TCF <laughs> wrote that petition, by the way. There's a mod in here. Um, you, so TCA. if you guys want to work together too, that's great. I'm all for it. I, I just wanna do something. But um yeah. but no man. I the it's funny because I don't know if you know this, but I've been streaming since 2019. Um back when Mixer was a thing. Um, my friend in her scope, who's not in here anymore, uh, he, he was streaming Fortnite on Mixer and I would like sit in there and support him and watch him. And then he made me a mod and all that stuff. And I got like super interested. It was like new technology for me to play with. Uh, but long story short, because of that, I started streaming and I played around with streaming and all that stuff and I, on Twitch. And then I hit a wall. And I was like, well, I'm going to start doing YouTube content. So I did like gameplay playthroughs and, and gameplay reviews and shit like that, which didn't really pop off. Then I started doing movie and TV show reactions, trailer reactions, and some of them popped off. Some of them did not. And then I got stuck at 96 subscribers for like months. And I was like, I need to do something. And that's when my friend, kind of the same thing for you, a suggested Ren and I should do high Ren as like my first music reaction and that was my first one. And since then, it's been a journey. Um, but uh, that whole time I was on, I from Twitch Mixer or moved over to Twitch. Twitch is not good either. <laughs> They're kind of inconsistent on who they bring the hammer down on. And, you know, we don't, for those of you who don't know who Dr. Disrespect is, basically got banned. There's still no real proof of as to why, but he's never done anything that's been Bridget, how are you? There's never been anything that I've seen that he's done that's been like, oh my God, that was horrible. But yet there's literally people like off screen just showing their face, but like literally doing it on stream that get mm -hmm. like a seven day ban. And then there's other people like Dr. Disrespect who just get a perma ban for no reason. But yeah. it's, it's not just YouTube. I want to point that out that this isn't just like us blaming the, the, platform that we're on i think it's a thing for all content creation type platforms that do that nevertheless it still is not right and um i think the biggest thing too is both cliff and lock wolf kind of confirmed that they basically changed the split the monetary split basically without any notice because it used to be 70 30 right and now it's 55 45 is that what that's what i got from his stream that i was in the other day yeah cliff was talking about that too but like when i signed the partnership program that's what my numbers were 
Mine were 45, 55. Mm. So like mine's always been like that. Um, like for other stuff, if you do a super thanks on a regular video, then I get 70% of that. Like if you mm -hmm. do the comment one, but not on a live stream, I only get 45% of that. Live streams are different because I don't know how YouTube works with the, if they run ads during the stream or not. I think they do, but because they can't like with a video, right? They scan it when you upload it. And then from there they can tell if they can monetize it or not. With YouTube streams, they don't know if they can. So that's a loophole that they put live streams into the 55-45 tier. That was uh, my okay. understanding. But I, I, I don't know. Retroactive stuff is awful. I think the biggest thing, too, about this whole thing is, like, they can cut a channel and anything that you made since the last payout is gone. Well, like, Even if you made that money, you don't get that money. The thing is, is like you said, man, like like I do this, for those of y'all that don't know, like I do this full time now. Um, and I don't make a killing, like by no means. Like I am strapped for cash all the time. And I'm very fortunate to have a low overhead and a fiance that's willing to support me and I do my cover. But like, I don't make a ton of money off of it because that's not the pursuit, right? And um, uh, where was I going with this? I just read something. Um, oh, so a part of that and why that can be successful is because like it's got this ongoing reoccurring thing right like my base yeah. kind of is reoccurring from all the videos that i've posted over the last two two and a half years or whatever right and if they just strip that all away then i have nothing like yeah. I, I don't get any of the previous revenue like the overcast or anything i don't get anything from anyone watching any of my old videos like it's all gone it's unbelievable that, like how much power that is so there's another content creator who essentially now also does reaction content started off with like uh his, the channel's called mxr plays but basically he would do like um skyrim mods and stuff uh okay. and a lot of his rightfully so but youtube basically demonetized the entire channel um retroactively so it was like any of the previous videos that was released are also now demonetized. And um, they said it was for content that was like explicit. And a lot of their thumbnails on that channel is teetering on the line. So I understand. However, they said it was specific videos. And when he asked, well, which one? So I can remove them so I can be remonetized. They wouldn't tell him. Of so it, that's kind of the same thing that's happening with Cliff. Um but that's also a reaction channel. It morphed from video game mods to just purely reaction, and now it's gone again. Um, but like, I like reactions, man. Like, um, I love when like I vibe with the song. Like, I can't stop listening to it. I like watching someone watch it for the first time again. Yeah, you know what I mean. One hundred percent. I think uh, I'm trying to figure out where. I think it was when the Venom movie came out. Um, I would Venom's like one of my favorite characters and that's where I got into the reactions was watching people react to that trailer and um, I think I binged for like three days straight just a, a bunch of different channel reactions to that and then from there I moved over to music and that's where I saw like um, uh, No Life Shack he was mm -hmm. reacting to, to some Eminem stuff and then uh, I think it was uh, This Is America. He reacted to that. Then I binged a bunch of different reactors doing This Is America. And that's how I got into the music reaction scene. So yeah, I, I think there is there is a uh, niche of people who like watching that stuff. But Whoa, I also under I understand the people who don't like watching people that just like watch the, the music video or whatever. And are like, oh, wow, that's so cool. And they don't really add anything to it, right? There's yeah. definitely a lot of those people out there. And I think that's why we are unique is because we offer a perspective, right? We have, um, you know, you have your, you obviously your musical uh, viewpoint on it, but more so the production side of things like um, uh, I have the musical background and also kind of the, 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 um, I guess the music theory part portion of it. So we all mm -hmm. have like, similar but also unique takes on it that we bring to it um so i think that differentiates reaction channels really we should be called breakdown channels 
analysis channels, but we also are reacting and reaction gets more of kind of, I guess, eyes on it. Um, well, and to be fair, man, like if, if you're like, if you wanted to do a reaction video and then a breakdown after you could technically do that. Yeah. Like you could do the reaction, just the dry reaction. And then you could go through and be like, write notes and script out like each part of it and all the things you want to touch on. And you know, yeah, I've tried, I, I've tried the like off the cuff, <laughs> the, what does Cliff say? Uh, no script off the rip. I've tried that. I've tried scripting, like literally having a script in front of me where I'm reading it and I didn't like that. I'd have bullet points and I didn't like that either. I feel the off kind of off the cuff, like react, literally reacting, but also breaking down in the midst of my reaction is the best way for me to do it because Mm -hmm. If if I write down what I wanted to say, I'm not going to be as energetic about it because that moment passed. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it's absolutely. each their own. I know people that uh, like I've seen reaction channels where they have a notebook in front of them and they'll like write stuff down as they're reacting, and that that's if that works for them, that's great. It doesn't work for me though. I I I, I have to kind of do it on the go. So um, I like Jesse's perspective from a live music and production background. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. That's that's what I'm saying, Elizabeth. Is like I, I feel like everybody has their own perspective. Like Knox is a master at like breaking down line by line, a, a, like a rap song, right? Or even any any music. Um, and then we have you know uh, Jesse here who does is really good at 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 great commentary for like the production background and stuff i try my best to do the music stuff like why what are the chord progressions um and and what are they thinking about here with, with you know going from one chord to another and verse to bridge time signature all that stuff and i try to channel my inner knocks a little bit with the lyrical breakdown but um everybody it's has their own time. unique piece so like yeah i i think for the longest time my issue was trying to figure out what I could bring to the table for my YouTube channel and content in general. Cause it's like, Oh, I can be funny, but I'm streaming this video game that thousands of people stream and I bring nothing to it. So I wasn't succeeding. And then music reactions happened and it, I just accidentally fell into it. Ow. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in another mod. Hello. Hello. Uh, the first rabbit hole I went down was 21 pilots. See, people have been asking me to get in 21 Pilots. I've heard their, a couple of their songs, obviously, and I'm, I'm not a fan. Oh, bro. Oh, don't bro. Shoot me. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. I won't. I won't. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Because 21 Pilots plays on the radio in my town every single day, like four, five, six times a day. Mm -hmm. And I was singing words to those songs that I didn't even know weren't in the song. Like, I, I thought I knew them inside and out, and I didn't. But when you find out that everything has a lore to it, and everything has multiple meanings to it. And there's a whole nother secret world that he writes about. And sometimes he's in it and sometimes <laughs> he's not. And there's all yeah. these cues on like when he is and when he isn't. And oh, dude, it's unbelievable. Yeah. The no, maze like, of it and like how everything comes together is just unbelievable. I've like I said, I've only like record? one or two songs. So like that's the thing we were talking, we were talking about this the other day, like People are so quick, like they hear 30 seconds. Oh, I don't like that. It's like, you realize that good bands have like different stuff that they create. Like Radiohead's yeah. a good example. People love the song Creep, but that song really is like an outlier from all the rest of their shit. Oh, like, you and can't the Radiohead judge. fans don't like Creep. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So like, yeah. it's, it's, I don't know. It, I think that has a lot to do with the short form content and attention spans, but um. So I'm very aware that like I'm making a judgment on this band when I've only heard like one song. Um, yeah, take uh, Elizabeth will give you a request and like give it a listen and you'll be shook. For sure. What? It's just a two piece too. Owl, we're doing a podcast. I'm not going to do push ups and sit ups, but I will save that for later and I will do them. Oh, also, yeah, the Trent, the trench record, which is like. Trench is like the area between. I, I, it's been a minute since I visited this. There's like Alter World, his like lore world, and like where like regular the wor regular world is in between that. There's like it's called Trench, um, yeah. and he did a whole record about it. 
and it's like it's like hard rock bro like there's some like breakdowns in it like it's tough yeah I, I think the cool thing now is like with you guys especially like i can be like hey what's a good one for if i want to listen to this right like i can ask people in the discord have been really good about it but like yeah you specifically like what's a good one to react to that will also give me like the type of music i will like so that's what's really been cool about being in, in that i'm trying to follow chat and and stay on point here yeah i iceland we were talking about that mr l boyd um he said a while ago that he was going to quit and i think his reaction channel has like now it's like nine hundred thousand subscribers yeah. and that's his Restart. highest sub channel that he has to just stop yeah. so it's not great have you heard Car Radio? It's one of the early songs for Great Introduction. I have not. Oh, you would let me love rephr- that song, Let me bro. rephrase. I've heard like maybe one or two songs, but I don't know the name of them. So I may have. The thing is, like, it, understand that this is some of the most depressing music you might listen to. Like, you might walk away from it feeling not very okay from time to time. <laughs> I mean, I do that with a lot of Ren shit, so... Yeah, I mean, it's like, like there's a lot of Ren, uh, 21 Pilot fans in the Ren community. Like, Ren has been a very good bridge for people waiting for the next 21 Pilots record. Yeah, Like, God, this I've never, honestly, there's been a couple, but I've never heard, I've never literally, like, listened to a song and um... It made me emotional until Ren came around. There's so there's been a couple, but uh and it was like three in a row, I think, that I reacted to. It was um Chalk Outlines, How to Be Me, and then fucking um what the hell? Uh Crutch broke the hell out of me. That one I was literally mm. like crying for a good ten minutes during the reaction. I just could not stop. But so I think it's one thing if it's depressing, it has to be something I resonate with, right? Um, mm-hmm. There's that. But no, I, I don't mind depressing stuff. I think so- music with feeling is is what makes music. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Oh, I love I mean Crutch, Jesse. Like you haven't reacted to Crutch yet? Bro. I might have, oh, who, wait, is that a Ren song? Yes. Oh, I was gonna say I've heard of a band called Crutch. No, Elizabeth no. said I love Crutch. Jesse needs to react to that. Yeah, I can. I'll pay you for to do that if you haven't done it yet. No, 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 no. It, Don't it, 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 um, I'll preface it by saying that that was when he was like really skinny and going through it, mm. and um, they filmed it outside in like freezing cold weather, and he's like just in his boxers in the video. So it's like, it's. The imagery already makes you feel uneasy, and then the subject matter makes it even worse. Yeah, and that's that's like what Twenty One Pilots does. Yeah, yeah. It's very similar. I like I liken the second or like the end of that song to a Radiohead song, just the feel of it. Okay. Um, but that's all I'm gonna say. The song and video are stunning. Yeah, I got a I got a Radiohead story for you. Before. Um, we flew from where I live, kind of on the west. We flew to Toronto to go see Radiohead. Um, they played Quebec City or Montreal City or something like that. Or Montreal, sorry, uh, the night before. And then they came over to Toronto the next night. And it was also during, you know that uh, festival South by Southwest or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's one, there's North by Northeast and there's North by Northwest. It's like similar kind of ideas. Um, so it was during North by Northeast and... It just wasn't the same event. Like Radiohead was playing over here and North by Northeast was over here. Um, but the stage collapsed like right before they let us in the gates. And it was crazy. They had to cancel the whole show. That's crazy. Yeah. It it's... sounded like a sounded like a semi truck full of like incandescent lights smashing. Or however you say that. Ir- <laughs> that's that's crazy. It, the thing with those festivals, man, is like so much money gets poured into them and something like that happens, like Oh bro. It's so much money lost. I, well, I couldn't and, like, imagine. Imagine all the flights and all the like like you know, when you think about net cost. Like there was forty thousand people at that concert. I feel like 
I feel like the festival will be obligated to to be like, we have to refund your ticket. So then it's even more money lost. Right? Yeah, well, the, yeah they had the, to refund the, our the tickets. Flights, the flights, I, 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 they can't refund that. But the no, tickets, God, the no. actual concert tickets, yes. So, yeah, yeah they I, that, that. that's just bad all around. Uh, Elizabeth said, I don't think I could watch Crutch if Ren had lost his battle. Same. 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 Um, I feel it's like so that nice a lot. to see Ren doing well. It is, man. Like, to see his joy when he heard about him getting the number one album was so cool. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I went home from work when that was getting announced. Make sure I could see it. Yeah. I saw your, uh, like, immediate reaction in the car. Yeah. Yeah, I was headed back to work when I did that. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, no. Um, uh, I think that that's the thing about Ren, though, is like a lot of his stuff. I don't think I could listen to either if he had lost the battle, right? Yeah. Um, I, oh, there's a, like I got a buddy who has a very similar, different medical disease, very similar outcome when it comes to all the like medical neglect and the problems mm -hmm. and the like all the stuff. And if he hadn't made it, I would not be able to do the Ren stuff. Like I would have to, or like if that happens in the future, like I will have to stop from the Ren stuff because it's so similar. It's crazy. Yeah. And like I can feel already, it. Like I worry about him. Losing it gives me anxiety. It's a great song, but it there's so much going on musically. And then with the fast rapping, like I don't know. This is one of the first songs ever to do that to me. I love the song, mm. but it's like I have to. I'll listen to it, and then I can't like have it on repeat because it gives me anxiety. Mm. It's just like the beat is crazy, but it's fast, and it like it's it's like a winding beat, and then his rap is fast. It's just like it's a lot. It I get over uh, stimulated very easily, so like mm. I can't continuously watch or listen to that song. But yeah, I um, but I like the song for sure. I think. I listened to the entire CD minus a couple of songs I haven't listened to yet because I want to do them for reactions, but I listened to it in my car and I think Genesis is a sleeper on the album. The mm. beat is sick. I think it goes Murderer, Genesis, and then um, what was the last lyric video he, he released? Um, Masochist? Nope. Uh... Mm. Lost all faith. I think that's the order it is for me. Oh yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. But yeah, that was a good disc. It is, dude. It it's a good. I think all eight. I haven't heard all of them, but um, the fifteen songs I heard like are all good in their own right. Obviously, mm -hmm. there's some I like a little bit less than others, but for the most part, I think they're all great songs. Like, it's very seldom right now, especially you hear an artist where like. 95 98 percent of the songs are good on the album yeah like especially on 18 like i'm like i'm okay having one or two skips on 18 records you know what i mean 100 i don't and think they're there's not even any really skips yeah i was just gonna say i don't think they're like skips like for me and a lot of people love this song but for me animal flow i, I could take or leave uh oh um sorry i turned my camera off back on. no you're good uh, i think Animal though I could honestly take or leave, but that's just me. Um, Down on the beat was another one I could take or leave, but that's more yeah. of him like just he wanted to do a cool beat like a cool EDM track and rap yeah, over that too. So track right, yeah. Like like I my favorite like rap artist is Joyner Lucas, um, and I, like uh, I love Joyner bro. But like when he gets in his flexing bag, like I just can't listen to that all the time. It's not that I don't yeah. like it. I just can't listen to it all the time. But like every once in a while I'm in a mood where like the car sound a little good and you just like put one on and it, it hits a little different. But it's not what I'm going to listen to when I'm doing chores and stuff, right? Yeah. Put on some like storyteller joiner or something. Yeah. I the I think the feel, like not the feel good, but like the all around good listening hip hop for me is like atmosphere. I don't know if you heard of, the, of atmosphere, but um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're like my go-to for sure. Uh, I sent you that that cipher or whatever with um, idea and slug rapping. Slug is a rapper for atmosphere. He's yeah, a yeah, he's I've one of the story. Yeah, he's one of the storyteller rappers that like. I think BP did a couple reactions to atmosphere actually, and he said the same thing. He's like, 
Slug is low key underrated when it comes to story, uh, storytelling rap. And I 100% agree. I agree um, but uh, where is Have this I put other? You on... Where that? is this man's? Where's your man's? Oh, our man's, yeah. God knows. Sleeping. Probably sleeping. So I don't want to bother him. Um, what were you going to say? Have I heard what? Have I, uh, have I put you on any of uh, my rapper friends yet? I remember you... S I don't... You sent me one, but I don't know if it was um, one of your friends specifically. Was it on top of that metal beat? Yes. Yeah, that was a bunny mine. Um, their joint project or like they have like some features and stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Fire projects. Fire projects. Yeah, that one that one was really cool, man. The the one you sent me on top of the metal beat. Um I feel like um I feel like too many people have tried that after like Rage Against the Machine. Um, but that one was unique because they weren't trying to like emulate. It was more like, hey, I like metal, but I also like rapping. Let's put them together. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I feel like the the uh, attack on that or the the um, the way they went about it was different than most. Mm. I haven't I haven't heard Uninvited, guys, so don't give it away. That's one of the ones uh, I haven't heard. You haven't heard Uninvited yet? That one and Castles Made of Sand, I haven't heard yet either. That was on the, the Dang, extended... Bro. Uninvited to, is a banger. And Wick, Wicked... Did I hear Wicked Ways? I haven't heard Wicked Ways Wicked either. Ways so those are the three I haven't heard. I need to react to those still. But I have other shit to react to, like Jesse's song and um, our our friend's... Uh, what's his name's song? How do you... I, I'm going to keep forgetting that name. I can't wait to see a reaction to Uninvited. It will be... I'll probably record it sometime this week. It'll be up next week, maybe. Uninvited um, is a banger bro wait did i miss this you guys are popping in the chat i'm not used to this uh i can give you a second to catch up i gotta run and check something in my back door quick i think i just got the delivery oh in your back door huh all right good work pause big pause pause hey you want to hear a funny story actually while i got here um uh a friend of mine will say it before i started my reaction channel i used to watch one or two other reaction channels and mm -hmm. i would wake up at ungodly hours and i would sit in my garage until like the sun came up and i would just watch these reactions and then my roommate at the time started joining me and then we started saying pause <laughs> all, <Yeah>. all day because <laughs> that was like one of his catch lines but anyways oh nice <laughs> okay i'll be right back all right al how are you um, I tested out that little device that I got that I was talking to you about, so I could pretty much play anything, Xbox, PlayStation, I can play my Steam games, all my emulators, so it's a game changer. Game changer. Pause. Um, I've been oversaturated at work. I don't, I don't know if... Kittens? You giving away kittens? I don't know if you saw my posts in my Discord, Al, but my schedule has been fucking ridiculous. Luckily, my work kind of took a lot off my plate today without me asking, so um, it should get better. Um, but anyways, shout out whoops, to Lil Al also, as she also streams. She's also a good, good friend of mine. Has uh, been with me through a lot of my shit. Um, this is her playing GTA, it looks like. She's also... She's also from British. Channel my inner... Uh, Brit. Any who's. Yeah, I'm going to call it and say, not the stream, but I think the other person that was supposed to be here, it's a really old clip. The other person that's supposed to be here is not going to show up, which is fine. Um, 
Is this something I said? Ah, oh, fuck. Posture check. There you go. Bro, like... Ew. What is this? Where's the... There we go. Hydrate? I already got a pee. I'm about to go out and pee in a second. I think I like this, uh... Oh, I don't have that open. Marithib... How do you say that? Marithib B... Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. I, when did we get over 400? What the hell? When did that happen? I got into Phasma homie too much. I got 20 hours on already. God damn. Hey, Bell, you're like highlighted in the chat. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's pretty. Uh, streamlabs. Fancy. Do, do, do. Play Vices by T York. Is it copyright? Let me see. Is it on a Is it on Spotify? Oh, it's on YouTube. Oh, no, it's on here. Isis, T, Orth, Ethan, K. That one? Only has 80 subs. Here we go. Hey, that beat hit hard, though. I like the flow, bro. I feel like, um, here's the thing, like, um, let me pause it so we don't miss it, but I feel like not all stomp, not all like hip hop songs have to be about like lyricism either. I feel like the beat on this one, like very much so like is the vibe. This is the type of beat I like. I like the chill, almost like jazz lo-fi kind of beats, honestly, because it doesn't overtake the message. It doesn't overtake the lyrics, right? Um, whoa, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I see a crotch. Pause. Pause. <laughs> um, you hit it on the head with that, though. Uh, hold on, I can't hear myself. You hit it on the head with that. Um, so that project is, it's like, it's a collaboration between the rapper and the producer. So they they went toe to toe. That's why it's called toe to toe. Nice. So I the think- whole thing is like that. I think that's cool, man. Like it, it, it breeds kind of cr- more uh, extra creativity than if they hadn't collabed, right? I feel like that's what's cool about collaborations like that. Well, and uh, it puts the producer in a seat where he has to care a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, it's not just like I can make whatever the hell I want. Like this also has to work for this other person to be able to rap over it. So that's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Like you have to turn the not the creativity notch up a level. Yeah. 
Um, uh, my camera's gonna die, so I'm gonna have to jump off soon too. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I told yeah. them uh, the other guest probably ain't gonna show up today, which is fine. Um, yeah. We should do this again though. I'm down to make it a weekly thing. Um, yeah. It might not be always at this time, but I'd be down to do it at least weekly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. That works for me. Uh, it looks can, like uh, people enjoy the conversation too. That's good. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. 